speak about African martial arts. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm still doing a lot of research, but I've been involved in the martial arts for over 30 years, since 1974. Primarily the Chinese and Filipino martial arts. I've been researching um, African martial arts for almost about the same amount of time. Uh, I'm a uh, Sifu or Shifu in Chinese Kung Fu. I'm also a uh, initiated priest in the Yoruba tradition, which is what I wanted to talk about today and how this relates to um, Capoeira. Uh, there's a lot of people that say that Capoeira is not really an African martial art, it's African Brazilian. But we want to talk about the African roots and the things that make Capoeira special. Uh, if you study the Japanese martial arts, you're familiar with Buddhism, you're familiar with Shinto. If you study Kung Fu, you're familiar with Taoism. Capoeira is no different. It has a spiritual system that's involved. So you can't really separate the two. So some of the things that I brought on the table, I want to show those things and how they relate. I also want to talk about uh, the Yoruba tradition, which has a big influence on Capoeira, the Orishas uh, earlier. How many Orishas did you have in that state? How many Orishas did you have in that outside? At least eight, I think. At yes, the Shango. That's Shango, Moa, Shoa, Soma, Moa, Manja, Oshu. Oh, no, 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 for the... For the for what the, today? For today, the legend. Oh, the then we have Oshun, uh, Shango, Ogun, so, the Yoruba tradition plays a, plays a big, big part in African Brazilian culture, as well as the Congolese tradition. And all these traditions have aspects of martial arts in them. They all do. They all do. The word Sama, which is uh, the, the primary dance in Brazil, the national dance, Samba is a Kikongo word. Samba, the word is Kikongo, it comes from the Congo. You look at uh, Cuban culture with um, Mambo, Rumba, those are all Kikongo words. You cannot separate the African culture from the diaspora. You can't do it. It's, it's impossible to do that. So one of the reasons I may, Master Amin and I have been talking about this is because in subtle ways he's getting attacked. People are saying that he's bringing too many things into Capoeira that aren't there, and that's not true. And like I said, why is it that when we talk about Capoeira, we're afraid to talk about the African aspect of it, or the aspect of the spirituality, which is the Odishas, or the Congolese tradition? All those things, you, you cannot separate them. When I came out, I did a prayer for the ancestors. The ancestors are known as Egon. The ancestors known as Egon. When I hit the swords together, I'm, I'm, I was invoking Boom, who is the deity who is responsible for removing negative things in your life. Ogun is also a warrior, so we're talking about the warrior aspect of Ogun. You heard me say the word Egun, Ogun. Egun, again, is ancestor. When I pour the water on the floor, I'm saying, Omi tutu. Omi is water. Tutu means cool. We're asking for a cool space. So I'm pouring water on the earth to bring cool energy here. We don't want any high energy. This is all warrior energy, but we want to cool the energy down. The uh, palm oil that I use, who's familiar with this? So what do they call it in Brazil? Yeah. Dende. Where does it come from? <laughs> in Yoruba land, it's called epo. And it means it, when, when we do ritual with epo, it means to cool things, to bring peace. So I bring water together with the epo. And that's part of the mixture that we use in special ceremonies to make things peaceful. It's called omiera. Sometimes we use leaves and herbs, but you mix the water with the you have omiera. So it means to soften things, to cool things out. Okay, so that was what I did when I first, when I first came out here. So the prayer, is to invoke ancestors, to invoke positive ancestors. Everyone here, no matter what religious background you have, no matter what ethnicity you are, nationality, you have a connection to your ancestors. So that's very important. And that's what this is all about when we're talking about Zumbi, Zumbi being an ancestor. 